uh, in terms of what transhumanists are aspiring to through the use of these new sciences, biotechnology, nanotechnology, neuropharmacology, they all have great ology names and ism names, um, but what they, what they may do is lead us literally into the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. Today, we will be discussing the phenomenon of transhumanism. The trend of transhumanism is gaining popularity across the world, first and foremost in the West, where it originated. Its symbol is a circle with the letter H for human and the plus sign, H+. Plus. The supporters of this trend enthusiastically accept all modern technology and take the idea of progress to its logical conclusion. In their opinion, the enhancement of the technology is leading humanity to a state in which more perfect beings can be artificially created out of the human species. What if we could upload a digital copy of our memories and consciousness to a point that human beings could actually achieve a sort of digital immortality? This idea has inspired many science fiction movies. There's three ways to manipulate the mind. What you read, what you see, and what you hear. When I exactly decided that it will start piercings was when I watched that Disney movie. We are going to become gods. Period. If you don't like it, get off. You don't have to contribute. You don't have to participate. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming God, you're going to have big trouble. And we'll have warfare. The only way you can prevent me in this, in this 50 year is to kill me. If you kill me, I'll kill you. Would you be interested in living forever if that's a possibility? Would you want to? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Cool. Why, why, what are your motivations for wanting to live forever? Well, there is lots of cool stuff to do, and uh, one life is just not enough. Oscar, the first human modular prototype that is able to live in various settings. Connect the brain to the heart module to activate the blood circulation. Now, the lung is going to start breathing. You can see both organs are now collaborating. I can add a kidney module. And if I add a limb module, it starts actuating the organism to move. Now it's looking for the optimum temperature, which is 37 degrees. If I had another limb, Oscar will recognize it. The artificial blood circulation ensures the metabolism necessary for the life of the head. The isolated head lives on for hours and reacts to external stimuli. The isolated head even reacts to light and to sound.
doctors are apparently a step closer to performing surgery, which sounds like something from a horror novel, transplanting a human head onto another body. An Italian surgeon claims it is now possible, and the first patient has been found. RT has been speaking to him. The Valeri is aiming to become the first human to undergo a body transplant surgery, attaching his head to a different body. He says his condition gets worse every year and getting a new body is the only solution even though there's a big chance he won't survive. A few years ago, Italian neuroscientist Dr. Sergio Canavero announced he was planning to conduct the surgery as soon as 2017 and picked Valeri who contacted him by email. We managed to speak with Dr. Canavero. Russia sent Yuri Gagarin into space with fair chances of dying. Uh, America sent uh, Neil Armstrong to the moon with fair chances of dying. Uh, and my ch the chances here are much, much better. Most of the money that we spend is on Brett and his baby things. All the baby clothes in my closet is approximately worth $4,000. <laughs> A woman in Norway believes she belongs to a different breed. She claims that she is a cat trapped in a human's body. My name is Eva Tiamat Baphomet Medusa, also known as the Dragon Lady. Or for short, you can call her Tiamat. Tiamat is the Akkadian five-headed dragon. And a legitimate question is, what is the Dragon Lady's preferred pronoun? I really prefer to be called an it, just like a, a snake. Besides transforming itself into a dragon, Tiamat is also a transsexual. Getting rid of my male genitalia, which I haven't done yet. Is this is a film about men who spend fortunes in an attempt to transform themselves into real-life dolls. Heute gibt es tausende wandelnde Gummipuppen überall auf der Welt. In der 2013 entstandenen britischen Doku Man in Rubber Masks. Warum nicht? Und er hat sie dann bestellt, also gekauft. Und I saw the mask and I said, no, what is this? It's very ugly. But I try. And then um, we think about what can we change on this mask? Was können wir verändern damit? Was können wir daraus machen? Und und da wir beide sehr kreativ sind, äh, ist es uns gelungen, dann äh, Stück für Stück die Masken zu verändern. Und ähm, ja, also es waren dann die Wimpern, Eyelashes, and the Make-up, and the Fit. And yes, and then I was happy. I throw stuff off here, I have tantrums, I eat, I get messy. Mm. More? Yeah. Oh. The food was on the tray. I'm, I'm, I'm in my baby chair and I'm, I'm good to go. Down on the bed, I have all my onesies, my rompers, my snap pants. I have these things specially made from people off eBay who are really nice. Diapers and clothes and the whole baby stuff is not cheap. As a baby, it's not cheap. You should see it as an adult. Now, finding true love is never easy, but for those who've given up on ever meeting their perfect partner, they can always settle for a robot. Fans of synthetic sweethearts say romances with robots could become commonplace sooner than we might think. And it you can reports. When toys for boys become more than toys. Originally, when I first got her, I called her my synthetic girlfriend. But it's actually progressed to the point where it's like, you know, she's my wife. 37-year-old Dave Cat from Detroit says he has been in a relationship with his sex doll for more than 10 years. And it's in it, or in her, that he found his better half. Just let her sleep. It's not even worth getting her out of bed at this point. These days, Dave Cat's bond with a doll seems like a joke to many. But according to British artificial intelligence researcher Dr. David Levy, in a few decades, romance between humans and robots will be a common thing. Sex dolls are nothing new to those who are familiar with the market of sex toys. However, tech entrepreneur Matt McMullen is looking to break the mold, so to speak, with his newest endeavor, AI Sex Robots. McMullen is the CEO and founder of a successful company called Abyss Creations that produces real doll, silicone sex dolls that sell for $5,000 a piece. 
According to a pair of New Zealand researchers, sex robots are the future of prostitution. The two claim that robot prostitutes will completely revolutionize the sex tourism industry by 2050. The paper, titled Robots, Men and Sex Tourism, published in the journal Futures, claims robot sex is safe, free from constraints, precautions and the uncertainties of the real deal. The paper described a futuristic imaginary sex club in Amsterdam called Yub Yum, where tourists pay 10,000 euros for massages, lap dances and sex from sex robots moving around the club. Yub Yum would include sexual, quote, gods and goddesses of different ethnicities, body shapes, ages, languages and sexual features. The bonus is that the futuristic environment would be free of sexually transmitted diseases because the sex robots would be made of bacteria-resistant fiber that would be flushed of human fluids after after use. At a speech last year at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk called artificial intelligence potentially, quote, our biggest existential threat. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. Famed physicist Stephen Hawking is also worried, as is Microsoft founder Bill Gates, who ironically helped lay the foundation for artificial intelligence, or AI. Experts say machines are still far from being as intelligent as humans, but things can change quickly. The field is progressing very rapidly right now. There are things happening that 10 years ago we would have said, no, there's no way we're going to be that far along in 10 years' time. Self-driving cars is one example, voice recognition another. But in the near term, what worries Russell and other AI experts are robotic weapons, machines that can function entirely without the guidance of humans, known as fully autonomous weapons. In just a matter of seconds, this two-dimensional object folds itself to become a mini-robot. Then off it goes, zipping around on both land and water. Developed by researchers from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, this tiny robot starts out as a flat sheet of plastic. But when triggered by heat, it can fold itself thanks to a set of electromagnetic materials. The robot has a shape memory polymer built inside, which coils up when it's heated. Using this material, the robot can fold itself by applying heat to its pre-creased edges. The finished robot measures just over a centimeter from front to back, and although it weighs less than a third of a gram, this tiny robot can run along designated trajectories, swim, and even carry objects that are twice as heavy as itself. What's even more revolutionary is that the robot operates by using magnetic pulses, so it doesn't need a battery. The robot also dissolves in acetone, so after doing its job, it can completely disappear, leaving only its magnet behind.